Hi, it's Mark from Portageib, and today we're going to talk about the Cartoni Smart Head. I'd like to give you a few tips about how to actually set it up and balance it. It makes a terrific uh, accompaniment to a, a, a standard Portageib or a Portageib Traveler. Great way to work. But the, it's all about the balance, the, the balance of the jib and the balance of the head. We get that dialed in correctly. It's a very sweet operation. Now, this is a little different than uh, some of the other videos where we talked about balancing a traditional fluid head and setting the spring tensions correctly because on an underslung head there are no spring tensions, no spring adjustments. So what we want to do is see what all these knobs and configurations are all about and get this thing balanced. Okay, so where do we begin? First thing we're going to do, of course, is to mount the head onto the jib. And once that's done, we're going to put a corresponding amount of weight on the back so that that stays balanced just enough for the head. We don't worry about the camera at this point. Um, next, what I, what I like to show you is the various controls that we have here, locks and knobs and things. Let me start on this side. First thing we notice that's a little different and odd is we've got little weights on this handle. And what this is about is that it's a good idea to balance the handle itself because it's on the same axis of the tilt that the camera's going to be on. And if you change the angle of the handle, it's gonna throw that overall balance of the camera off slightly. So the first thing you do is you balance the handle by moving these little weights in and out. So you leave this, the teeth not quite engaged, set the weights so that they balance, then you lock it up. Next on this side, we we'll notice we have two locks here and a big knob here. What this is going to do is move this entire camera support platform up and down depending on the size of the camera you have in terms of how tall it is to make sure it's going to clear through this opening. This you don't adjust very often. It's pretty much always going to stay the same depending on the camera you're using. The most important one though is this one. We have a lock for the tilt and we have our fluid drag setting for the tilt, this little red knob that has four positions. It has a zero, one, two, and three. One, two, and three are fluid drag increments, and zero is what we need for the balance because that's just, that means there's no fluid drag, and all we're going to feel is the actual mechanism itself, and we have to find the balance point. So the first thing you do is make sure that this is on the zero setting and not on a one, two, or three. Okay, so we're gonna put that at zero. And then the other adjustment we have is up here on the pan, as well as we were talking about the tilt here. Here's our pan adjustment, and it, just like the red knobs on this side, has a zero position on a one, two, and three that we wanna be aware of and set up what feels good to us when we're working. This is not as critical because there's no balancing involved. It's just the amount of fluid drag being uh, added or subtracted. So now we're going to put the camera system onto the head and get it balanced. So first thing is I want to rotate this handle so that it's down because otherwise it'll kind of get in our way when we're doing the balancing. Uh, next is we need to be able to support the front of the jib as we add this extra weight. So we're going to, I always use the uh, quarter jib case. It makes a nice support. But you could use something else if you need to. And we'll just position that like that so that we have a little room to work here. And then we're going to drop our, our camera assembly onto the head. And drop our quick release plate in there. And of course we're way out of balance at this point. So what we want to do is be sure to lock the tilt right here. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do then is add some counterweight to the back to balance the overall weight on the front, and then we can work more comfortably on the front. Okay. Okay, check our balance, adjust our tuning weight. And for uh, those of you who haven't seen our videos on how to do the jib balancing and the vector bar balancing, please uh, consult the other videos for that. We're 
get back to our cartoni head. Okay, now here's where we gotta really get this thing dialed in. We wanna balance it fore and aft this way, and we wanna balance it up and down to get the center of gravity of this on the tilt axis. So first we wanna see where we are with the um, front fore and aft, so we're gonna unlock it on the back. Remember, there's this red knob here. And you can see, oh, this is quite front heavy. So we need to back this up a little bit. Now it's not gonna be really totally balanced until we get the, the, the height. So what we can tell it feels pretty much the same fore and aft in terms of front heavy, back heavy. So now what we do is we kind of come around to this knob, make sure that this is unlocked and this is unlocked. So what we want to do is just keep adjusting this until when, it, it's, when it's balanced, it should just stop at whatever angle you're pointing it at. Okay, so that looks good. So then the next thing we would do is we want to take it off of that zero setting and put in either a one, two, or three fluid drag. But on a jib, you're not going to want the heavy drags. You're going to want to keep it really light so it's easy to just float around on the front. So it's going to be the number one setting for most cameras. So that's just adjusting this to the, to the one position. And now you may find at that point you have to do a little more adjusting on the fore and aft adjustment now that you've got the up and down. But in this case, it looks like we're balanced. Good to go. And then one last thing about balance, because it's all about balance. If you are buying our balanced monitor bracket, which is this assembly right here, it's the exact same principle as balancing the um, cartoni head you get here. You can see that we have a slot so that it can move fore and aft, and then we have an adjustment here so that it can move up and down. See, now it's, it's no longer balanced. So you just have to slide it up and down to get to the balance point. And then there's a little drag adjustment, like you would have a fluid adjustment on the uh, head. So it's all about balance, but once, once you have your jib perfectly balanced with the vector fire dialed in, you have your cartoni head dialed in properly, your monitor bracket, everything just floats ever so easily, stops where you want it to stop, and it's a really sweet way to work. Thanks, guys. That's our uh, tip of the day for how to balance a Cartoni smart head. For other instructions, uh, subscribe to us on YouTube or visit us at portajib.com. See you next time. Thanks.